Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in December 19, 2016, CSIR net. Match the species in column X with their properties in column Y. Column X. 1. Heme A. 2. Water splitting enzyme. Third option. Manganese complex. Exa aqua manganese 2 plus. And chromium complex. Exa aqua chromium 2 plus. And column Y. First option. Axo bridged MNO, MN4 cluster. Second one. Tetragonal elongation. Third one predominantly 5 to 5 star electronic transition and fourth, fourth is DD spin forbidden transitions and fifth is tetragonal compression. Okay, so in this heme A has predominantly 5 to 5 star electronic transitions and water splitting enzyme has axo bridged MN4 clusters. And hexa aqua magnus plus 2 has TD spin fibrin transitions. Mn in that complex has Mn has manganese has 3D5 4S2 electronic configuration. And in, in the given complex, Mn has plus 2 charge, that means it has lost 2 electrons, that it has 3D5 electrons, and it is octahedral. It has octahedral and it has weak field H2O ligands. Hence, its uh, spin is high, that means it has high spin. And when it splits into T2 joint, e.g., orbitals, so electrons arranged like this. So, what is what is DD spin forbidden transition? So, in a transition from lower energy level to higher energy level, if the electron uh, change without any change in spin if electron transfer from lower energy level to higher energy level without any change in its uh, spin then that is spin a low transition if the electron uh, transfers from its lower energy level to its higher energy level with spin change then this is spin forbidden transition okay so in this complex so there is no chance to uh, spin a load transition because the electron should change in the higher excited uh, higher excited state level energy level hence this is spin forbidden okay i next one chrome chrome hexa aqua complex so this chromium hexa aqua complex it is octahedral and in this complex chromium has 3d5 4s1 electronic configuration in the given complex chromium has plus 2 electronic charge that means it has 3d4 electrons and it is octahedral and it has water as a weak field ligand and it splits into t2g and eg levels and uh, so this is high spin that's why electrons are arranged like this and the single electron in higher energy level has occupied in the d x square y square uh, orbital okay so when the electron occupied along the dx square y square orbital so the octahedral complex like this because so the octahedral structure is tetragonally elongated uh, because the electron the single electron is comes along the x sine y axis x and y axis hence these ligand attracted to the metal atom that's why the bond the bond between the metal and uh, the ligand ligands which are present along the x and y axis are uh, attracted towards each other and the bond shrinks so that's me that's why these x and y the ligands which are in x and y orbitals along with the x and y orbitals compressed and these uh, uh, ligands which are on the z axis z axis are elongated because they have no uh, single electrons uh, to attract with the metal atom so hence this complex is elongated tetra tetragonally elongated one okay that's why C chromium has 
tetragonal elongation so from this we can give the answer to 1 is 3 and second one is 1 and third one is fourth fourth option and fourth one is 2 thank you